My name is Helmsy, and welcome to Legion. Black Ops. Nailed it. I've learned so much from my Demon Hunter. Just like that they can't take a hit for, for shit. They can't take a hit at all. I mean, if they take a hit, you know, they're uh, they're automatically going to drop below about half health. <laughs> So you have to uh, you have to you have to be a little bit careful careful with your cooldowns. You have to uh, have to play really smart, but you do a ton of damage. So in this video, what we're going to cover is we're going to cover your abilities, your talents, and your stats. So let's do that, boys. All right, guys. So I figured why not start with your stats since it's the simplest thing to cover. I do have a 690 item level, uh, which is pretty good for uh, for a demon hunter right now. I have been uh, doing all these invasions and stuff. And, uh, and they've been extremely rewarding. I got that at my first drop, as well as the uh, the shard to upgrade it to a 7 of 5 item level. Let's head over here to our stats, our enhancements. Crit Strike, probably not something you're going to want to stack really. It's haste, you know, maybe a secondary stat, but your mastery is insane because it's, uh, it increases your chaos damage by 19% and your movement speed by 19% also. So if you don't know what chaos damage does, it pretty much ignores all armor on the person which is insane. So all the damage that you're doing, 19% of it's going to be chaos damage, completely or completely uh, bypassing all of their armor. Also, movement speed is really nice for for the simple reason that uh, you have no escapes really. All you have is a, uh, I mean, like the way that I the way that I build this, you don't have really many escapes. You have fell rush and you have a uh, vengeful retreat, both of which are, uh, I mean, they don't go they don't go that far. You know, they, they go about 20 yards a piece. I think exactly, they go 20 yards a piece. Um, so that's not that's not that good. Plus, whenever uh, whenever you hear about our uh, our talents, that I mean, I really don't see another way around using these two talents. You know, you use them as engage as opposed to a, to a disengage. So the way that I'm looking at these talents is you pretty much have to take these two because you you need your rage you, you absolutely have to have rage and i don't think that uh that demon's bite builds that much rage um granted it is spammable it does take a while to actually build up you know um if you want to get off an eye beam it costs two of them and during that time you can be stun locked you can be kited all of this stuff whereas if you have fell mastery which uh which is going to increase the fell rush damage by 50 percent and grant 25 fury when fell rush damage hits at least one target you're automatically guaranteed 25 fury um, and then if you can duplicate that again for your second stack an extra 25 fury the other one that i like to go with is uh, prepared which reduces the cooldown of vengeful retreat by 10 seconds which is very useful and uh, generates 40 fury over five seconds if you uh if you damage at least one target both of these are really helpful for me because what i tend to do is go in come out and then you can go back in and you're pretty much full on your uh on your fury down here and you never had to use demons bite once obviously if you if you're not going to be able to do that every time it wouldn't hurt to uh to you know engage and start hitting somebody and then disengage and then just re-engage something like that because now you're at 100 fury i was at 97 before that but now you're at 100 fury and you still have a stack of a uh, fell rush you know use use it as you uh, as you need to but um, but we'll we'll go ahead and talk about the other talents really quick because I don't think any of them are too good for PvP. Um, chaos Chaos Cleave is probably going to be something that you use for PVE, I would imagine. I don't know if it's actually better than this because this increases fell rush damage by to fifty percent. Um, and fell rush is already kind of an AOE straight line AOE, but AOE. And then Blind Fury, that's a good one, and I actually do like that one quite a bit. The problem is, is you have to you have to be able to get your. Uh, your eye beam off and with a bunch of other demon hunters they're going to be doing the same thing to you as you do it to them and it's going to melt you and you're going to melt them so why not why not go ahead and get in there quicker and build up all your fury really quick and then do it before they get theirs off and then you can probably stun them on theirs interrupt them on theirs stuff like that now however this this build does leave you without uh without gap closers if you use them the way that i showed you the first time which i you know wh whatever works for you and then you drop down here and you see um, Demon Blades. It makes your W passive and it's terrible. Uh, so I'm not even going to cover that. And then uh, as far as I can tell, Demonic Appetite is is bugged. It's not it's not working at all because it says uh, Chaos Strike has a chance to spawn a lesser soul fragment and consume consuming any soul fragment grants 30 fury. Now, I've done this. I've used this, this talent for about three days now and I haven't been able to notice 
when it procs, when anything happens with it um, at all. So, so it's, it's uh, it, I don't understand what's up with it, but I think it is actually bugged. Um, so that's why I go with those two. I think those two are the best. Let's go on to your uh, to your abilities real quick. I'll just I'll just cover them really quick. Um, I like to use this one as a defensive. If you were wondering if if that if that 100% dodge chance for one second happens while you're actually blade dancing, yes, it does. It, you do not get it after the blade dance. You get it during. Blur is a massive cooldown for you because it increases your dodge to 50% and reduces the damage taken by 35 seconds. Um, a blur is a great thing to pop anytime you think uh, another. Demon Hunter is about to pop I beam because it's 35% damage mitigation, which actually helps a ton. Onto Chaos Nova, it's really good, especially if you get in the middle of a bunch of people and just drop it. It doesn't do much damage, but it's an AoE stun for five seconds, which is insane. Chaos Strike is your uh, you're gonna use that to to dump uh, dump your rage whenever you don't have Blade Dance up. Consume Magic is just your kick. Darkness is your major cooldown. Uh, summons darkness around you in an 8 yard radius. Cloaking friendly units and grants a 20% chance to avoid all damage from an attack. Last 8 seconds. So um, so this is a really strong one and you have to you have to be really smart with it. And there's a time to use it. There's time not to use it, obviously. Um, because, I mean, it does grant a 20% chance to avoid all damage from an attack. It doesn't matter what the attack is. The attack can be a spell. It can be a melee. But you have a 20% chance from every single attack for those 8 seconds to completely mitigate all of that damage, which can be insane for you. Demon's Bite is just pretty much your spammable ability that grants you uh, Fury. Eye Beam is one of your biggest bursts, aside from Metamorphosis, which I mean, Metamorphosis is on a five minute cooldown, so that's pretty crazy anyway. <laughs> but uh, but you use Eye Beam quite often. Fell Rush is your engage. You can use it as a disengage. It also generates Fury for you if you pick the talent. Uh, it also deals a decent amount of damage. I think it deals... Yeah, it deals more damage than uh, than Glaive Throw actually. It deals about the same amount of damage as a Chaos Strike, which is which is pretty good. It's about thirty-one thousand, as you can see there. Glide is just simply that ability. Whenever you get want to want to glide, you just hold down the spacebar and it'll sprout your wings out, and you can glide. And Prison is only for demons. It cannot be used on demon hunters. It can only be on be used on warlocks pets. Metamorphosis is a really great ability. Uh, it also has a stun built in with it. As you can see, if I hit eight, which is where I key bound it to, anything in that area will be stunned. Now, whenever I actually jump to that area, it takes me about a second and a half to get there and land, but you can also do it, you know, you can do it for a range quite a, quite a way. So you can use it as a gap closer. Um, it does have a 40 yard range, which is the same as uh, your basic spells from a mage or warlock. Uh, which is really good. So it is a good gap closer with three seconds stun tied upon it or tied to it I don't know why I said upon I know why I said upon I it's because that second paragraph there says upon landing You are transformed into a hellish demon for 30 seconds greatly empowering chaos strike and blade dance abilities and granting 25 haste um, Now your two abilities that empowers are right there chaos strike and right there blade dance now again You still want to use blade dance anytime. It's off cooldown, but it does have almost a nine or well It does have an 8.31 second cooldown um, So that's not that's not a bad cooldown, but that's not a great cooldown And then this one is going to be spammable of course So you want to get off as many of those two abilities as you can um, personally, I wouldn't use I beam in there just because I think you can get off more damage by doing other things now it does give you 25% haste, which is really, really good, and it will help out I-Beam. However, I think that uh, that the the empowerment to these two is going to do a little bit more damage than I-Beam, but I think so. And then Spectral Sight is the way that you see your, uh, your invisible targets, which is great. You can see a rogue all the way across the battlefield or the arena. Rogue Glaive is obviously just kind of your ranged ability, the one ranged ability you have, um, and it can bounce up to two additional times within 10 yards of the first person to hit more people. Um, and it deals, I guess, 25,000 damage. Or if you look down here, oh, still 25, shit. <laughs> but yeah, so it, it actually hits pretty hard. It doesn't cost anything. It has a 10 second cooldown and a 30 yard range. Now, Vengeful Retreat is the other one that we have uh, a talent for, which generates 40 fury over five seconds if you damage an enemy. Pretty much all it does is shoot you back and, uh, and it reduces the enemy's movement speed by 70% for three seconds. So all it does, if you come in here, say you're say you're hitting this guy, you leave that guy, he's slowed for three seconds so that you can make your escape. 
that's pretty much all it is. Double jump is just that. Your mastery, as we explained before, is the uh, the chaos damage, and the shattered soul is uh, killing an enemy. Sometimes creates a soul fragment that is con consumed when you approach it, healing you for 25% of your maximum health. This is huge. The problem is, is that this doesn't happen very often at all, and you have to actually kill an enemy. So in PvP, this means in twos, you're going to have to kill somebody to get it. And usually whenever you kill somebody, the battleground or the, the, twos, the twos arena is over. So it doesn't, it doesn't come into play that much in, a, in, a, in an arena. However, it does come into play a lot more in a, uh, in a battleground just because you get a lot more kills, a lot more action. So yeah, so there you guys go. The way that I like to do things is uh, the way that I like to do things is I love to actually open up just in melee range by running up to somebody if I can, um, if I know that they're going to kite me. And then I don't think there's anything really wrong with building up a little bit of your fury and then going straight into an I-beam because a lot of people don't expect it. However, uh, if you can land a stun first, there's nothing wrong with that either. Also, you can do Chaos Nova into I-beam. The problem is, is that it costs 80 fury. And a lot of the time you don't have that much fury so chaos beam or chaos i beam and that'll that'll take up the full duration there of that five seconds which is which is really good for you if you can land that if you can land your uh, your chaos nova into your i beam that's a really good thing for you to land that's a really good practice for you to do and it's, it's going to help you a lot it's going to help you land a lot more and what they're going to have to do to mitigate that damage is they're going to have to trinket it well, trinkets are on a three minute cooldown now, and that's gonna be a pain in the ass for them to do. Also, I might add that uh, DRs are only 12 second DRs. So if you don't stun them for 12 seconds, I, I believe, I believe this is how this works. Um, you can just, uh, you can just stun them again with your, with your ult for three seconds and then get off your I-beam if they immediately trinket your, uh, your Chaos Nova. Um, not to mention Chaos Nova is almost off cooldown now. So you can, you can kite people for up to that amount of time. Keep in mind how much, oh, I don't get anything from that because I was way too far up. But uh, keep in mind how much uh, how much rage you can build with your Fell Rush and your uh, your Vengeful Retreat combo that you got going on. Uh, because it, it is a staggering amount of, you can pretty much fill your bar. Uh, I mean, 90, 90 Fury is, is the exact number. Um, so, so yeah, so 40 from that and then just 50 from that if you use both charges. Again, I would be a little bit sparing with that second charge of a uh, fell rush just in case you need to, uh, to reposition, just in case you need to get out. If you are a night elf, you always have shadow meld, which is a huge advantage. Um, obviously not too much of an advantage against, uh, against other demon hunters. However, I mean, if, if, you're in a, if you're in some trouble, it works pretty much about as well as a feign death from a hunter because nobody can target you when you're in this and then the dots will probably take you out of this but everybody loses target or they're targeting on you for for just a couple seconds which can which can help you it can be it can feel the same as a you know as a cooldown as a, as a defensive cooldown if used correctly you know if you're not taking much damage and you use it and then you come out of it nothing's going to change uh you're still not going to be hit very much so anyway, guys, uh, that was uh, that was that was pretty much it. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the uh, about the talent, stats, and abilities. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.